This is Lisa from Mobile Tech Review, and this is one minimalist laptop, isn't it? No, it's not. This is the Line Dock 13 inch. So, this is a USB C dock that's designed primarily for the 13 inch MacBook Pro. In fact, we have the match matching space gray here. It's also available in black, but it works with any USB C laptop, and it's pretty ingenious. But at the same time, a little bit odd. So what's ingenious about this is it has a 74 watt hour battery inside. It's 20,000 milliamps for those of you who keep track of external charging capability. That's a lot. You get an SSD inside and a whole bunch of ports, including 4K display out at 60 hertz. We're going to look at it now. So it sets the line dock apart from other USB-C docks that are out there, and even Thunderbolt 3 docks, which are a different kind of beast in a way, but not really that different, is the fact that it has that huge battery inside that supports pass-through charging. It charges your laptop, and it's rechargeable in and of itself, and it has an SSD inside. So, schwing, you need more storage as well. So this is a pretty unique solution, and it's pretty awesome. You can get it anywhere from having no SSD inside for $299, you get a 256 gig SSD for $399, and you can get a terabyte option for $749, which is getting expensive, but then a one terabyte M.2 SSD is not a cheap thing either. That battery inside, again, 20,000 milliamps, which is 74 watt hours. That is a lot of extra charging capacity to charge up your laptop on the go. The only thing I question is this is not the most portable design. I mean, it's like carrying a second laptop or a tablet with you in the bag. So at two pounds and 912 grams, I'm not sure. And you let me know in the comments, is this something that you would stick in your bag to take with you to have an absolute complete docking solution on the go wherever you're going. To me, this seems like something I would love to have at home or at my desk at work, and I'm not sure I would travel with it per se. So how does this thing work? There is a rear USB-C port. This is USB-C only. This is not Thunderbolt 3. The rear port is where you plug in your laptop's charger. It, you don't need any other special charger with it. Just your laptop's charger will do. And like I said, pass-through charging, so you can charge the laptop through it up to 100 watts, which is the max allowable over USB-C. And then you're going to plug your laptop into the USB-C ports on the side. There's one on each side. They say that if you want to use this, an extra display out, that's only on the right side, so you're probably going to plug in your laptop on the left side. This does work with Windows machines as well as Macs. It's not a requirement. It's just obviously cosmetically designed to really go nicely with the MacBook Pro. So you plug in the either the little U cable that they sell, which is the super shorty cable that lines up if you are using a 13-inch MacBook Pro, that's 29 bucks, or any USB-C data capable cable, and they sell one of those as well. So keep keep that in mind. So if you do have a Mac laptop, the USB-C charging cable that comes with your Mac does not transfer data, it only transfers power. So you're actually going to need a full USB-C cable. So anyway, you connect them up, and then you can use all the ports simultaneously. You've got seven ports on here. You've got a bunch of USB-A 3.0 ports. You have 4K capable at 60 hertz, HDMI 2.0, and mini display port. And that right USB-C port can also drive yet another monitor at 60 hertz and 4K resolution for those of you who are really multi-monitor mavens and you really want to do this. It has a UHS-2 SD card slot. It's a fast SD card slot as well. And the interesting thing, of course, is that SSD that's inside if you opt for the SSD option. So you can get it without the SSD and then take it apart and you'll see how you do that. We'll show you. And put your own SSD inside. Technically it avoids your warranty, but they do give you instructions how to do it. So how much do they mind? Yeah. So it's pretty unique. So it's an M.2 SSD, standard M.2 form factor. It's a SATA 3 interface, not the faster PCIe NVMe, but given the fact that all the USB-C is connecting up would be a bottleneck for speed anyway, it probably doesn't make sense to put a faster SSD in there. But it is pretty darn nice for those of you who do need extra storage solution for your Mac or for your Dell XPS 9370, for example, another USB-C port constrained laptop, to have an easy way of adding storage without carrying yet a separate drive around. That is pretty cool. Build quality on this is also excellent. I mean, the fit, the finish, the casing material, it really does match the MacBook Pros. Speaking of MacBook Pro, though this is meant for the 13-inch MacBook Pro, you can use it with the 15-inch. I have the 15-inch model, and we're using it. It does have that pass-through charging up to 100 watts, so it does work for charging, but they're working on a 15-inch model that will have higher power output for charging via the battery that's inside. And yes, you can walk away from an outlet and just plug your laptop into this and it will charge your laptop for a long time.
As charging LED indicators on the side, you hit the power button, you can see how much charge you've got. Lots of little LEDs there to indicate granularly how much charge is left in that battery. And if it's fast charging, which it does support, those LEDs will change color and they'll be yellow instead to indicate that it's fast charging. It can also charge through the USB-A port. So if you want to connect your smartphone, your tablet, whatever it is, it can charge those as well. So because this is Mobile Tech Review and we take everything apart, I've unscrewed the Phillips head screws, which are clearly visible over here, to open it up and take a look inside. Now they tell you that they've got some Easter eggs inside, so they're kind of encouraging you to do that, though. They say also, technically, that would void your warranty, though. How are they going to know if you unscrewed the bottom cover? That They wouldn't know. So indeed, you turn it over and you've got this IKEA-like explanation of how to do the teardown, which shows you this is the most relevant thing here, the M.2 SSD, should you wish to upgrade the SSD or add one if you get a unit that has no SSD inside because you want to, well, install your own. So here's the internals right here. So this is the cable they're talking about. Unscrew two really tiny Phillips head screws and then take the cable off and then unscrew the screws to lift up the motherboard. The M.2 SSD is under this section over here. Pretty nifty, right? This world map that they put on the logic board and well, right here is our 74 watt hour battery, as big as a laptop battery inside of here. And you know those magnets that help it stay stacked if you are putting a 13 inch MacBook Pro on top? Well, here's the magnets right here in each corner. Those little square pieces of metal are the magnets. So that's the line dock, certainly the most unique looking USB-C dock solution out there. You get a big battery, you get the SSD inside, you get all the ports, you get the 4K 60 hertz display options, everything you could want. And the price is not cheap, but it's not unfair for what you get. The build quality is exquisite on this thing. The only thing I wonder is how many people are actually going to carry this around with them. The, one of the big selling points is that very large battery inside that can charge the laptop on the go. But is this the sort of form factor that you would take with you on the road along with your laptop? I'm Lisa from Mobile Tech Review. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more cool tech videos and thumbs up if you like this vid.